Hi there viewers, welcome to 2019. We just thought that we haven't had a, had a chance to to catch up with you recently. We've just been so incredibly busy. I bet they're wondering what happened to us in yeah. 2018. Well, we're still here. We just wanted to let you know we're still here. 2018 was just so busy for us. We moved house. We had flu. <laughs> Life just well, took over. Well, let's just talk about the house for a start off. We were going to buy a house and it fell through and we were literally... Um, well, I think we told them about that, didn't we? Because we're, go we're going back to Christmas 2007, 2017. Yes, the house that we were buying and yeah it all fell through the week before we were due to move so we ended up moving in may didn't yeah. we in 2018 so you know we're, ne we're nearly a year on now I and i think the thing was this would the um the, that took a lot of our time up doing that really and it, we, we have weren't able to get out and do the show homes i mean um we did do some we did some in the summer didn't we yeah you remember last summer when it was really really hot so We've, we've not done a lot since then because we've been busy doing other things, other projects. But I suppose we just wanted to let you know uh, what we're planning to do this coming year because we're back on it. Um, we've still got plenty of show homes to be bringing you over the next couple yeah, of months Yeah, we've actually anyway. we've been working over the last cup, the last week and we've got some great new mm. show homes from Cala, new, new to the channel. Um, we've yeah. got Bellway, we've got Barrett's, we've got Red Row lots and lots of show homes all queued up ready now to get back into the regular up, our a regular yeah. um upload um schedule and the and we've also got a video due out called the wow factor we have that would yeah we'll be bringing that to you very soon so i suppose we just wanted to say thank you thank you thank you to all you wonderful viewers who regularly comment on our videos and interact with us letting us know where you want to go we're going to try and do as much of that as we can this year we, yeah. you know we, we we keep records of everything of all the different places that you ask us to go to so we will be trying to fit in as much of that as, as we possibly can i mean sometimes we, if we don't reply to stuff you know it's impossible to reply to everybody yeah you know we, we, we do are our absolutely best. inundated aren't we yeah. and and we just want to say thank you for that because we do read them all we absolutely do and we love it it's fabulous um, and we just really like that, that you guys like what we do and so many of you say that to us on, on the comments it's great isn't I mean it? plans for this year we're going to get a lot bigger on Instagram so we're going to kind of work mm. a lot more on Instagram really it doesn't mean we're going away from Facebook but Instagram seems to be you know where you know yeah. where we, we we sort of belong really so if, so if you've got any ideas about what you'd like to see on Instagram, if you use it, then, then let us know because, you know, we're, we're always open to suggestions, aren't we? Yeah. Um, we also are going to concentrate on portfolio more than anything, really. So we, you know, we've got the whole a load of new house types coming out from Bovis, which we're going to get hopefully stuck into in the spring. Um, they've got a complete new range of show homes as well that you, you're mm -hmm. able to view. We want to try and bring you a lot more of the persimmon um, house type range as well, really, because I know a lot of people buy, buy persimmon houses and they're frustrated because they can't see the show homes. Yeah, and, and we do get asked relentlessly. Another thing we've taken on board is that, and this isn't our fault, lots of developers choose the bigger, more flashy end of their range to choose as show homes don't they yeah but we're getting more and more people asking us for the smaller houses the starter homes etc and believe me we do try our best to bring those where possible it's just that they're not always used as show homes yeah. that's why we struggle with those but where we find them we'll 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 absolutely bring them to you where we can so if you know of any let us know well i was going to say for instance barrett's have bought a new range of house types now what barrett have done is come back to the old premier collection days so the latter sort of premier collection they have started bringing out a lot more how smaller houses two and three beds that they're making show homes so it's going to be you know we'll get stuck into that portfolio as well of all mm -hmm. them so a lot's changed since we've last had a catch-up really on, yeah. on on different things yeah. what we are going to do 
is we need to change how efficient we make the make the films you see um i mean we've got a drone now which we're going to bring we'll be able to give you a different perspective on developments wherever we can but also it's worth noting that we are going to simplify the videos a lot more and make them just a little bit more not the same but i mean they're going to be a little bit more like a portfolio we're going to have more of a standard across the board aren't we yeah in in the way yeah. their videos look and also just to make my life a little bit easier because i'm the one that does all the editing and puts the videos together yeah um i'm head of sourcing <laughs> yeah obviously Sources. steve's the one that knows all about the developers he knows what's coming up he knows where the developments are and you know he's yeah. the, he's the one that you do all that kind of planning yeah the research the researching um, all that sort of thing really yeah. so you know we've all it has been a really busy like i say last year was really busy and we're going to try and get a bit more on it this year and try to have a regular upload we will guarantee at least one release a week if at the most if we yes. you know if we do two that's a bonus isn't it yeah if you we've know? got if we've got more we'll bring you more yeah but if not it will be one and we'll try also to bring you some additional um, some additional videos um, to the channel um, about villages and things and uh, 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 different areas that are going up. You know, if we can ever get any drone footage and show you what they look like from above and things like that. So we've got a lot more planned, haven't we? You're into the droning, aren't you? Droning on. Yeah, he likes droning. Uh -huh. anyway. And maybe it's worth telling the viewers about one of your other projects then about what you've been doing yeah in Telford. yeah i mean where, where we live in Telford, because that's another thing we've actually done is moved so we've moved um uh, to another part of shropshire mm. um and we're back to my home hometown where i've uh, where i've come from and um well it's and it's strange where we get recognized now or well, people recognize you by your voice <laughs> yes um yeah and so what i've been doing is um i've got a, um another youtube channel called telford ultimate guide where you'll see a lot of my cinematic footage that i make i make films about new towns and things like that lots of different things on there so i know a couple of show home online viewers um, uh, subscribe to that channel but yeah just get just um telford ultimate guide um pop that into youtube and have a look what else i'm up it's to it's just something totally different isn't it that that you you do and you like to do because you're very much that's the historian side but in a different way completely yeah. different we're talking about local history aren't we yeah. there that, that you like to do yeah and you'll find it's absolutely nothing to do with me yeah i'm not in it not involved um, that's entirely your project and there's a lot of you yeah your drone footage isn't yeah it, and, and that's things. it and we've we've also and you'll, you'll see steve in a different yeah. way i just want to mention he was actually on midlands today for those of you who don't live in the midlands it's it's the news um because he's such a i don't know what are you a lo local expert a local well, I'm a, I'm a lot. enthusiast <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want to call it yeah and I'm hoping to become a local councillor this in February. Well, we are in February. We're, Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, and well, one of the biggest changes that we did is we both decided to um, leave that. What, as you know, we were landscape gardeners. We decided yeah. to leave that and go into a totally different. Or each of us go into something different, where we both work kind of part time, but it also frees up the time for us yeah. to do show homes yeah. more now um and, than we've, ever. and we've done that haven't we yeah and life is good it's yeah. it's great isn't it we're, we're really enjoying life things are going really well for us um and we just hope to bring you much more of, of what you want yeah so keep in touch with us because we love it um yeah and um you know we'll hope to bring you a few more live videos for you know and, and maybe yeah. I think yeah. I think with shows online, it, you know, during the filming process and stuff, we might get a little bit more interactive with you. Um, I'm still wanting to do a live stream review. I've, I still want to do that live over Facebook and actually I live review. <laughs> I, I do. Just it. don't know. Yeah, I that would know. be good. Um, then you'll know nothing's rehearsed then. But, yeah, but you know what they say about live? Well, it's like live TV, isn't it? I just I don't know. I I prefer the edited version. So where can they but find we'll us? See. We're on. We are. We've got the Facebook page. Yeah. If, called. Uh, called Show Homes Online. Uh, <laughs> but we've also got um, um, Instagram. We've also got Pinterest. We're on LinkedIn. 
We are also, if you want, you know, there's a lot of few, a few of you guys are on my personal Facebook page. Um, mm -hmm. You know who you are. Um, you know. So there's plenty of ways you can get in touch with us. And of course, you can comment on the videos. That's, that's the best yeah. way, isn't it? Because it's instant, we see it, and also it's related to the video that you're watching. One thing I will say is that there's there's new content coming on all the time but obviously as the channel as a whole we still get loads of viewers watching older videos that are three four years old even older aren't they yeah and i think some people think that that's that's all we do because they've they've obviously googled a developer yeah. and a house type and they've mm. ended up with a particular house type so just just bear in mind that there is very much new content with new cameras, new ways of filming. Because we do get a lot of complaints about the fisheye yeah. lens, but yeah, we do. they're always on the older videos. They're so old. you know, yeah. but we have invested heavily on um, on, a, on yeah. new equipment and what have you um, to improve to improve the way we actually bring the videos. So if you are new to the channel and our videos, just bear in mind that there's tons of new stuff, not just the older videos. I mean, any YouTuber will tell you that they've got old videos they've so, got they've got you know i watch youtube all the time and a lot of vloggers that i watch you know they've got videos that are five eight ten years old yeah. even and they cringe when they watch them well we don't you know they're there we wish we could probably go back and do those house types again now with you know with the yeah. new methods that we use but we can't but they're there you, you can still take a look at those houses, but please just bear in mind that things have improved massively since then. I would like to say thanks because I know they watch us um, to our our client, our um, what do you call them? Developers. Yeah, the developers that we've yes. that we've worked with. I mean, we've worked with some great developers. Let's um, not let's not name. We're not going to name though. them, but no. we we've worked with some great developers during um, during two thousand and eighteen, yes. and hopefully continue on. You know, some we've got really long-lasting relationships with, and you know, we really do enjoy. And they don't police us about what we, you know, yeah. what we what we say. They, you know, they come to us because they know we're honest, and we, you know, we try to tell it how it is really, and we just want to say thank but you. But also, to them. they come to us because of you guys watching. They know that we have a massive audience, lots of regular viewers that watch everything. But also, up and coming home buyers who were out there doing the search now, they're looking to put their hard earned money into their homes and they watch our videos because they want to buy. It's a massive investment. From developers or they want to buy a particular house. What I would house say type. though is if you, yeah. you know, I know you email and say to us, oh, we want you to view, view such and such a house by. You know, it's always worth sending the developer a tweet yes. or a direct message just saying, would you uh, would you be able to ask showrooms online to come and review this house type because I'm thinking of buying it. Yeah. That does go a long way, that does. Um, because it's always better for us to be invited. Yeah. And we often are, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. More often than not, we are invited. Um, we don't like just turning up at developments and, and trying to get in because that's, you know, it's not that's not what we do anymore. Mm. So, yes, if, if you are looking to buy a certain house on a certain development, speak to the developer. Speak to, obviously, first and foremost, speak to the sales staff. See what they say, but then go to their marketing department, go to their regional sales manager and ask them. I said, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean... If you don't ask, you don't get. And that, that is it, and that helps us along the way, it doesn't does. it, really? You know, yes. And it's worth also saying to the developers who are watching is that, you know, give us a try. You know, you've got, you've got nothing to lose. You know, we've got thousands and thousands and thousands of people watching us um it's hundreds of thousands in <laughs> fact it's millions i've underestimated it <laughs> yeah what are we on on the channel anyway oh millions millions <laughs> yeah but we millions. Could, we'd always like more <laughs> do, you remember when, do you remember when a million was a milestone yeah when you look funnily enough i said to you the other day about when we first started we, we started the channel in the november of 2000 was it 2013 or 2014 2014 i think november and by november december of of that year we had 2000 views and we were chuffed with that we thought and, wow this is fantastic and what you know what's funny last year is 
the amount of um, show homes that we walked into where they knew us. Yeah. And we, you know, remember the one, the Charles Church well, one? That that just... She was actually... What, that will always stand, stick in my mind we as, told you as about the that. moment. Yeah, Well, we, we went to this Charles Church development in... Um, where was it? I think it was in... Was it in Devon? No, it might have been Exeter, that neck of the woods, actually. I think it was. Anyway, we turns up there... And then we, we, we walk in and then she's watching us on her, she's watching us in her spare tablet. time on her tablet. And then we walk through the door, she literally <laughs> nearly died, it didn't was, she? She thought it was a you've been framed moment. Yeah. Because yeah. I think she told all her colleagues how much she liked to watch us. And there we were. And do you know what makes me laugh as well? As surprising last year is the one of the, the few develop the few developers that don't particularly want to entertain working with us. We 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 do go into their show homes, and their sales staff are actively using our videos to promote their houses because they know they 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 see it, don't they? They know, you know that you guys watch them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and. It's it's been a crazy 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 time, but like we say, but it's a great journey, isn't it? And we're enjoying it, so we'll carry on doing it. Yeah, and I just want to show you something. Look. Oh, what? Look, look. <laughs> Emma, Emma always comments on that, don't you? Yeah. Well, I've been in many a show home where they've had a silver pineapple. Yeah. And. I'd said to you, didn't I, that I really, really wanted one. Would you think you're, would you think you're, because obviously people wonder what kind I'm, of house we I'm, live in. Well, yeah, oh, that's the other thing. Welcome to our lounge. Yeah. No. We haven't really seen much. So what I would you I'm say, tired, what is your, your what is your favourite piece of style in this house or, 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 that you've got here? What is your favourite? And we'll oh, show it. Yeah, but it's, this isn't a show home. No, no, no. We're, what, we're, what, I wouldn't say we're untidy. Well, you are. I'm I not. Am, yeah. You're very untidy. Well, looking around, all your bits and pieces, which was your favourite? Well, obviously, the pineapple is, is one of my favourites. Mm. Oh, I know. Hang on. I'll... No, no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show them this. Oh, the... Tell them the story behind this. Okay. Right. The penguin. We have got it's two. not real, We've got way. two penguins. We were filming. We were, we were on a on a filming schedule in Milton Keynes quite a few years ago. About three. When was it? Oh, it was December. Long, yeah. December, probably December two thousand and fourteen, in Milton Keynes. And as a surprise, you had found out that there was an outdoor ice rink, wasn't there? Yeah, at Frost Garden Centre. Yeah, in Milton Keynes. So he thought to try and keep me sweet. During our schedule, because you were moaning, that was the yeah, time when Emma was, didn't really like doing it. No, that he'd arranged for us to go ice skating because I loved ice skating. So we went there. And she it, said she was really good at it as well, oh, like like Torval and Dean. All right. And so we get there, beautiful ice rink, lots of fairy lights, really really nice. You didn't go ice skating, so I get get me. We've skates got show on, to do. Get me skates on. We had done a few that day already. Hadn't we, we had, yeah. We had a couple more to do, and so I get on the ice, doing a bit of skating, and bang, I fell. It was not even a bit of skating. She fell on her ass straight away. But I should say that there was a lot of kids on the ice as well, and they've yeah. got those push along penguin things or beavers or whatever yeah. they were. The only way that kids hold on to. I didn't have one of those, so I fell over. Kind of fell a bit funny, and um, anyway, so Steve rescued me off the ice. He had to take my boots off because I'd hurt my arm. We went in the cafe, didn't we? And I was crying in the cafe. Embarrassing. Because I was in a bit of pain. Embarrassing. It was a bit. And he said to me, if you stop crying, <laughs> I'll buy you a penguin. Because there was a beautiful stall there with yeah. all these lovely... As long as we carry on doing ceramic the Ceramic penguins. And I said, all right, then I'll have a penguin. You could buy me this big penguin. So he bought me the penguin. I don't think I did stop crying, but I knew that I was in, in a lot of pain. So we went off then. Yeah. We went and did the show home at Fairfields for by Barrett. We had three show homes to do, so you did those, didn't you? We did, although I knew... Well, have a look on that video. <laughs> the pain was notching up as we were doing it. And we were going to do another two across the, another two across the road to so, David Wilson, but they didn't let us in. Yeah. So that was a blessing in disguise. So when we got back in the car after doing the show homes, Steve said, right... How are you feeling? And I said, I, I don't feel great. My arm hurts. 
do you want to go to A and E? And I said, No, I'm not going to to A and E here. I said we need to go back to to Shrewsbury where she, we lived at the time. Exact words were, I don't want to go to a foreign A and E. I didn't say that. I said I'm not going to an A and E in Milton Keynes. I said let's go home because I had a feeling that it was worse than I thought. So we drove all the way back to Shrewsbury, went to A and E, and yes, I had smashed my wrist <laughs> and my arm in about four places so I ended up completely in plaster yeah and that was about three days before Christmas it was you carry on and I'll just get the I'll just get my go get the last thing with three it days before Christmas so yeah ended up in plaster till March with that <coughs> oh what have you done worry. what have you done to the dog nothing it was just <laughs> oh puppy there right. we go before you change so, the dog yeah, so that was how we got the penguin that will always remind us of uh, of when I broke my arm in Milton Keynes. There we go. Yeah, I love the penguin. And we actually, just before Christmas this year, I managed to find a gold one, didn't I? Yeah. So, hello. This is Roxy, our lovely pooch, who you've probably seen before. She's been in lots of videos. Um, we've talked about her in lots of videos. She moved house with us, didn't she? And yeah, she we've likes, always going to leave her there. She likes living here. Um, she's a very good girl. Right then, <laughs> well, that's enough gabbing on, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we just thought it would give you a little bit of a look at that, a little bit of a, a little bit of a story there. Yeah. Anyway, keep an eye out. We're uh, we're back, bigger, better, stronger, harder, faster. Keep in touch. Let us know where you'd like to go this year, where where you'd like us to go this year, and we'll do our very best to get there. And we'll catch you on our next video. Bye yeah. for now. Bye. Okay. Get that bitch right, time for the making from the gym.